सो हेलो गैस दिस इज संजीत एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो गैस इफ योर विंडोज टेन इज फ्रेजिंग एंड यू आर ऑन दिस वीडियो टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम सो डोंट वरी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल फिक्स दैट प्रॉब्लम हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू एट स्टेप यू जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो दैट स्टेप्स एंड योर प्रॉब्लम इज गोइंग टू सॉल्व एंड इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट विंडोज यू हैव लाइक यू हैव विंडोज सेवन विस्टा एट वॉट एवर विंडोज यू हैव सो जस्ट फॉलो दीज स्टेप्स एंड योर प्रॉब्लम इज going to solve so first step is you need to just update your graphics video drivers and how you can do that so for that you need to just right click on windows and go to your device manager so in the device manager you will see here display adapter just open this and you can see here i have intel processor so that's why it is showing intel hd graphics just update that driver search automatically and for that you need to connect with your internet so this can be a very good reason like you are playing game and your system is freezing so just update this and uh, like you have nvidia and amd whatever you have you can just go here and just right click and update and the second step is most important like uh, reset the winsock catalog and what it is this is a just simple command you need to type in your cmd and this command just reset your socket so there can be an error in your socket you need to just run this command just open the cmd as administrator and you may wondering what is winsock and why you are typing here winsock is just a windows program which will handle all the input output uh, requests for your internet applications right so you you can also search this command on google is this command is safe or not definitely it is safe that's why i am telling so just type here net sh and win sock and reset so you can see here message successfully reset the wins of catalog and you need to just restart your system right and the next step is the clean boot in the clean boot you can just disable and stop non microsoft services which is running in background right so for that you need to type windows plus r and type here ms config and this will open one pop up and go here services and here you can see hide all microsoft services just check this box and disable all right and apply okay and this will require restart your system so just restart it and the next step is increase your virtual memory here yeah. and uh, like uh, whenever you are using your system and your physical memory like ram runs out and most of the user reported that uh, their system is freezing and after increasing their virtual memory to 8 gb their problems are just solved and how you can just increase your virtual memory go to here this pc and right click and go to properties and uh, in properties you can see here advanced system and settings and uh, just go to here settings and advanced you can see here virtual memory option just change it and just uncheck automatically manage and here select custom you need to here put initial size 1000 and the max size is 8 gb like let me open calculator and here you need to multiply 8 into 1024 this is a 1 mb okay 8192 you need to type here 8192 just set it you can see here c drive set this here <laughs> and click ok and this will require restart your system just click ok and check it is working or not ok i will restart it later and the next step is turn off link state power management and how you can just turn it off and let me just open the setting and then i will explain to you what it is for that you need to just press windows plus r and type here power cfg dot cpl and it will open this kind of interface click here change plan setting and go to change advanced power settings and uh, scroll down and just click on this pcl express and you can see here link state power management this is selected maximum power saving and there is two options like moderate power saving and maximum power saving so moderate power saving whenever your system in sleeping mode and hibernate and it will open quickly and uh, whenever you select the maximum power it will open more quickly and saving your power right so just turn this off and click apply so this is the most important setting you need to do and most of the people are saying after doing this my freezing problem is just solved and the next step is turn 
of fast startup yeah whenever you are starting your system and uh, you thinking your system is going to start very quickly so this is also not recommended you don't need to do that right okay so how you can turn this off right click here and go to power options click on additional power settings and just click on choose what power button does and just click on change settings that are currently unavailable click on it and you can see here turn on fast startup and this can be a factor to freeze your system right so just uncheck this box save changes and the next most important setting is disable unwanted apps like uh, so many apps you installed and they are running in your background and they are using so much ram of your system and how you can just disable all those so go to settings and in settings go to privacy and here you will see background app I scroll down you can see here background app and you will see here app list whatever the apps are running in your background and uh, i don't want this and just switch off all those uh, background apps and this can be fix your freezing problem right and here we'll see map location service you can just turn off those click on location turn off this location service whenever you are using system you don't want to share your location right and the next most important thing is remove all temporary files. So how you can do that? Just press Windows plus R and type here percent temp and percent. Okay, just uh, select all and right click and delete. So guys these are the 8 steps you just need to follow all the steps and I am 100% sure your windows freezing problem is just going to solve ok and uh, let me know in the comment section after following which steps your windows freezing problem is solved right. So guys that's it for the video if you like this video just hit the like button and do subscribe for more videos ok thank you so much for watching this video.